Hey, I'm Pep, and this is a pep talk. Or a review? I don't really know anymore. Today we're going to be talking about Roll20.net. It is a website that you can use in order to play role-playing games, pretty much any role-playing game from what I can see, online via an app-like web browser thing that you can custom create things. Anyway, this should probably be the point where I tell you that they are paying me to do this video. But I'm not going to do that because it's not true. They aren't paying me. I did not ask them to do this video. They didn't ask me. In fact, I subscribed to one of their upper tiers, so I'm kind of paying to do this video myself. Uh, but the thing is, like, I subscribed because I wanted to support them, and it's not all that much money, and I just wanted to, to get a few more of the little perks that they have. But I am in no way suggesting that that's something you need to do. Uh, whenever I first tried it out, first of all, I am not someone who was interested in this before. I always said, I don't really need to use something like Roll20. I play with people in person. It doesn't really seem all that helpful to me. Well, of course, now the pandemic happened. Hmm, yeah, waiting two to three months to complete your RPG seems a little strange, but we don't need to. Instead, you can use Roll20. And even if you are just wanting to start something new or play a game with people online you've never played before, it's a great way to do it. Now, to describe what it is, in case you've never even heard of it or haven't looked into it at all, it's essentially, when you first open it up, it's going to be like a grid on a page. And you can create multiple pages with multiple grids, and you can throw backgrounds onto it. You can throw objects onto a layer on top of that. Uh, you can create character tokens. You can give permissions to those character tokens to specific players. And as the DM, you can change all of that partway through. You can throw uh, preloaded audio onto that, whether it's stuff you recorded yourself or just some like nice background music. You can play that whenever. You can have it auto set so auto audio plays whenever you swap pages. There's so much you can do with it. And again, this is all off of a free account. I was able to create an entire like custom made module thing, which included audio, backgrounds, tokens, etc. And I was able to do all that on the free account, no trouble. Uh, the background was actual like stone or wood or doors or whatever you needed. You can find it just by searching through the token galleries. And I think it also just like searches through Google, essentially. You can also just upload your own images if you have a very specific thing you want. The point is, it's really good. And it doesn't really matter what kind of RPG you play. You play Pathfinder? Neat. You can have a custom character sheet already on there for you. Um, whenever you go to make an attack, it'll do the attack, it'll show what it does. And same with stuff like Starfinder, D&D, uh, Kids on Bikes, Shadowrun, GURPS, I don't know, whatever you run, Vampire the Masquerade. It should all be there available to you. And if you're mostly playing D&D like me, maybe you have D&D Beyond. Well, there's even a browser extension you can have that automatically lets you do everything from your character on D&D Beyond import your token, make attack rolls, whatever. Um, but on top of that, even without the extension, I believe, you can just import your character from D&D Beyond. And let's say you don't want to make your own custom campaign or have to like play in a game that someone's made. Well, places like Wizards of the Coast and lots of other places are giving out essentially free games, free modules that people can jump in and play. And these have all like the artwork already put on for them. So if you went to DM it, you just do it, and it's super easy. Whenever you go to make your map, it'll just ask you, like, do you want to use one of these? And you can go, yeah, sure. Heck, you could even customize a little, probably. I don't know that for sure. I didn't check it. Don't quote me on that, okay? I don't want to be quoted. So, long story short, I highly recommend Roll20.net. I think even after this pandemic is over, if it's over, and... We're back to trying to play things in person. I might use Roll20 anyway, whether I'm having everyone log on and use it for combat, or maybe I just put a tablet in the middle of the table that has the combat grid on it, and everybody can see it and interact with it however they want. Um, it's, it's a good alternative, especially if you have one of those nice big tablets, which I don't. 
it's a good alternative to having to make your own map. You can have hidden areas that slowly reveal as you go along, although you can't really do that, I guess, if you're on the table, unless you have two devices. You have your laptop, and then you have like the one device that all the players are using, which could kind of work. Um, I'm rambling now, but the point is, it's really fun. Uh, it's really easy to make uh, your own like custom campaigns. Uh, I had zero experience with it and just kind of spent eight hours sitting there making a campaign, and it was great. I've run through it with a, a couple of different groups now to varying levels of success on their part, and yeah, it's, it's fun, it's easy, um, it's customizable. If you have certain macros you want to set up and know how to do that, certain attacks and things you want to set up and, and create things that, that can just work, then great. But on top of that, it has a dice roller built in. It has a ruler built in. It has lots of features built in. The players can write. I mean, it also has built in audio and video, uh, but the players can also write messages and draw their own pictures and ping locations to show like what they're looking at, whatever. There's so many features to it. And like I talked about the fact that you can roll dice, you can make them big 3D dice and everyone can see them. Uh, some things like kids on bikes that normally have exploding dice, well, they'll go off after a certain point. Uh, like if you roll a d6 and you roll a 6, it'll explode and roll again. The character sheet's a preset to have that happen. You don't have to keep rolling, it just does it for you, which is amazing. Now, the important thing to think about is whether or not people are gonna have access to it. Now, it doesn't really seem to work all that well on the phone, to be honest. Apparently, if you have a premium account, other people can use it on the phone. I've had varying degrees of success, um, but apparently the tablet kind of version of it works really well. Um, the browser version works really good and doesn't seem to take up all that much system memory from what I can tell. So if you have like an oldish computer, it might not be too bad. Um, and the best part in my opinion, although this is semi-minor, is there's kind of like a whisper feature. So if I want to talk to one player very quickly for a second, I can click the whisper button, only they can hear me, and uh, like the other players can't hear either of us too. I could just say like, you are under a confusion effect right now. Um, don't, like, I'll tell you what you do on your next roll. And then you can go away. And it's just that easy. So if you haven't checked out Roll20 before, I highly suggest you do. And I think it's something you'd probably really enjoy. And uh, again, hashtag not sponsored. Uh, and I'm someone who didn't really think this was something that was necessary before. And now, not only do I think it's necessary, I think it's probably something you can use even when it doesn't seem necessary. It's just a convenient tool. No one brought dice? Bring up the dice roller on Roll20 and use it. It's easy. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not super proficient yet, but I'm getting there. As someone else might be able to answer you on Roll20 questions anyway. And as always, live free, game hard, even online.